Good evening, this is our latest video update on Tropical Storm Sontan and this Thursday afternoon as the system continues to move across the Philippine Islands bringing widespread rains and damaging winds uh, through much of the uh, Visayas and even uh, Luzon regions. The system was last located approximately 240 kilometers west-southwest of Manila with maximum sustained winds of 75 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 110 kilometers per hour. System has accelerated slightly now moving west northwestward at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. Yesterday, the system moved across the Visayas region, passing through the islands of uh, Shargao, Leyte, uh, even into northern Cebu, and moving across the Romblon Islands. It has moved across the Mindoro Island earlier this morning and has ex exited off the coast here and is now moving over the open waters of the South China Sea or the West Philippine Sea. The system has also slightly intensified to 75 km per hour according to JMA despite the continuous interaction with the numerous islands here in the Philippines. So as we've said before, I don't really think the uh, landfall, numerous landfall has made will really Im impact much. Uh, this, however, the, the core of the system did uh, take a beating. Mm, you can see in this latest visible image, we are still sh seeing pretty symmetrical system overall, but the dimin diminishing activity out here in the uh, system center. Looking at the infrared image here, you can see much of the convective activity it, uh, is occurring across the eastern parts of the, uh, of the storm impacting Mindoro and southern and central Luzon. The center of Sonten or Bagyong Ofel remains largely weaker compared to the uh, compared to yesterday when it was moving across the Visayas Islands. However, you may notice this yellow blob here uh, re seeing some sort of a, of a hot tower forming here, very strong convective activity, very high cloud tops we will uh, continue to watch this thing, this convective activity, if it can sustain itself, because that could mean uh, intensification is currently happening. This is also uh, occurring right near the center of circulation, so pretty uh, important sign here, we think, in terms of the overall recovery trend of this system as it emerges back into the open waters here. But obviously, as of right now, you can see still have widespread convective activity across the islands of the Philippines, particularly here in western Visayas and out here in central and southern Luzon. Now, thankfully, much of the rains have tapered here across eastern uh, Visayas, where they've been uh, got they've been hit with as much as 150 millimeters of rain last night, uh, prompting. Uh, causing widespread flooding, fl flash floods, and even landslides across many areas here, and even as far south as General Santos City here in Mindanao, also reporting flash floods affecting dozens of families out here, even though they are well south of the system's path. Now, right now, the bulk of the convection is now across the uh, western and uh, western Visayas and parts of central and southern Luzon, including Metro Manila. We've actually received reports of rainfall rates of as high as 50 millimeters in an hour and some of these stations are already reporting 100 to 150 millimeters of rain in the past 12 hours alone and as the system would need to move west northwestward we expect at least another 50 millimeters to fall in some of these regions especially out here in Mindoro Island and also parts of um, southern Luzon particularly out here in Cavite and Batangas provinces as you all know this is a very significant period, travel period, for much of the Philippines because of the approaching All Saints Day out here in November 1, where many uh, Filipinos are traveling to their respective provinces to visit their loved ones. And obviously, it ha this storm has wreaked havoc into the plans of thousands of commuters stranding thousands of passengers in seaports and even in airports because of flight cancellations. Ferry trips and boat trips have also been cancelled out here for much of uh, Visayas and Luzon. Now, thankfully, uh, Tropical Storm Sun 10 is moving quickly away from the area, 30 kilometers per hour, so expect at least uh, better weather, at least clearing weather, especially out here in eastern Visayas by tomorrow. So uh, there are still some signal warnings, however, for parts of Visayas, but 
by tomorrow we expect some of those to be lifted allowing uh, the uh, ferry boats ferries and boats to be allowed back into the uh, waters again but for the western Visayas travelers may have to wait for one more day out here in terms of uh, whether they can proceed to their uh, destination now just talking closer here at the rains in central and southern Luzon looking at the latest radar image from Pegasus project now when you can see widespread rains falling across the uh, Luzon region if you look here at the Subic radar you can see widespread rains moving from the southwest to southeast to the northwest impacting uh, major provinces out here in uh, Laguna, Batangas, Cavite and even here in uh, the national capital region we're seeing rainfall rates of 30 millimeters per hour there as well going southward to Cebu radar and you can see there are still some thunderstorms and rain showers but they are not as widespread and definitely not as heavy as yesterday although some areas could still pick up as high as 50 millimeters in the next 12 hours but the good news is the widespread rains and stormy conditions that we've experienced out here in eastern Visayas should die down should taper off beginning tonight and expect much better weather by tomorrow so the forecast here for this tropical storm we are still seeing pretty good consensus among the computer models and again showing a track generally west northwestward across the south china sea or the west philippine sea through the next two to three days and could perhaps threaten uh, the uh, parts of central and northern vietnam and even here in laos as we move into perhaps by sunday sunday afternoon here looking at the official forecast from pagasa this uh, yeah this is from pagasa and forecasting a uh, track to the northwest again perhaps exiting the philippine air responsibility by as early as tomorrow morning we expect those signal warnings to eventually be dropped here in eastern visayas and eventually western visayas and parts of luzon so perhaps by saturday we could expect a hassle free travel across the country which definitely is good news as you are approaching that all saints stay here now we have the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's uh, four-day forecast here again showing a track to the northwest across the South China Sea and you can also notice here that JDWC is now expecting Sun 10 to become a typhoon as you move uh, as you move into Friday or Saturday passing south of Hainan Island depending on the speed and also on the uh, environment conditions out here in the South China Sea there is a small chance of this system becoming a typhoon pretty weak wind shear and also warm sea surface temperatures so uh, J Joint Open Warning Center may be onto something here in terms of uh, upping their forecast so to speak in terms of the intensity now forecasting a typhoon however it will uh, eventually weaken into a tropical storm and into a tropical depression as it makes landfall into northern Vietnam perhaps passing south of Hanoi and by Sunday afternoon and then rapidly weakening thereafter as it moves into Laos but will still be bringing widespread rains across uh, parts of uh, Indochina and even here across southwestern uh, southwestern China as you move into the next few days and finally we have the Japan Meteorological Agency's forecast and showing a nearly similar track here taking the system across the South China Sea a track south of Hainan Island and perhaps making landfall out here in Vietnam as you move into Sunday afternoon the uh, JMA not expecting this to intensify to a typhoon however although you can see expecting this to become at least a severe tropical storm uh, once you move into uh, Saturday still either way a very big threat definitely for parts of Vietnam not only in terms of the strong winds but obviously in terms of heavy rains as well as as we've already seen out here in the philippine islands in our video update just want to quickly mention what is happening on the other side of the world this is on the atlantic basin and here we have hurricane sandy now moving across uh, eastern cuba it has made landfall over jamaica earlier today the system is pretty significant in that it is uh, threatening to impact parts of eastern united states in the next few days the system currently is forecast to move into bahamas staying east of florida but will likely bring tropical storm conditions in that state by as early as tomorrow you can see the cloud canopy very wide we have already serious clouds with rain showers now moving across miami and parts of southern florida forecast for this system is to continue moving northward and eventually 
make a slight turn to the northeast across the Atlantic Ocean, perhaps transitioning an extratropical cyclone by as early as Sunday or Monday. Now, after that, we have a pretty significant forecast here because some of the computer models, particularly the European model, is forecasting a very intense cyclone, extratropical cyclone, to plow into the mid-Atlantic states, particularly out here in Del Marva area, perhaps impacting major areas here in the Northeast, particularly here in New York, and also Washington, D.C., Philadelphia area. Definitely going to be need to continue to watch the system. Still nearly five days out though, so we may see some changes out in uh, the forecast track, but the concerning thing here is that computer models are starting to, to starting to agree on a consensus, starting to show a single idea in terms of the forecast here on uh, this system. For more information on Hurricane Sandy and anything Atlantic tropical activity, you can check out 28storms.com. They also have in-depth video updates and discussions currently focusing on Hurricane Sandy. And that concludes our video update for this afternoon. Continue to check out Pagasa and Project NOAA for the latest radar images, warnings, and forecast for your area. We also have JMA here as they are the official RSMC out here in the Western Pacific. And as I've mentioned before, if you are filming more information on Hurricane Sandy and that tropical activity in the Atlantic, you can check out 28storms.com. Also, you can always check out our westernpacificweather.com and also our blog for the latest updates. We will also have our complete list of the provinces still under public storm signal warnings. Pagasa will soon be updating their list in a few minutes. They will be releasing that in their 5 p.m. forecast, so stay tuned for that as well. Thank you for watching, guys. You can always email us at philippineweather.com for the latest, latest questions, comments, or if you have uh, reports in your area of uh, tropical storm damages brought by Sontin, any flooding or any sort of uh, storm damages, you can always email us at here videos or images so we can share in our video updates. Stay safe, guys.